Hello, I'm just sitting in our dry toilet here and just looking at these figures and we've had this running for the last two years now and it's quite amazing. We used to use about 80 cubic meters of water per year in the whole household and now we've reduced that down to about 36 cubic meters a year so that's a phenomenal reduction in water that hasn't had to be purified, pumped, flushed and processed so that's a phenomenal record. But what happens to the dry stuff afterwards? How do we compost it? Well, we'll go next door and look in the compost bin and see what's happening. So, just open the compost bin. There is the contents of the dry toilet. Now, every time we use the toilet, we always throw in a handful of sawdust. And when the bucket's full, we empty it and we cover the contents that were in the bucket and with straw. But if we just look away at this stuff and just see what's, see if I can show you what's happening to it. There's no odour here. I can testify to that. Oh yeah, here we are. Look at this. <coughs> These wonderful worms going away doing all their work and making wonderful compost for us. And now I'll show you the compost bin that's 18 months old and the contents therein. Right, so here we are at the smaller compost bin. This is about 18 months since we, we put any contents in. And this is the end result of the, the waste from the compost toilet. And it's dry, friable, um, completely odourless, incredible texture and wonderful as a fertiliser. The other interesting thing is that the total volume of the two compost bins is half a percent of the total liquid waste that would normally go down into the sewage system which is a phenomenal reduction so yeah almost good enough to eat